All right, this one is a request from someone in grade 11. It's a trig question out of the textbook. The question says, if sine x is equal to 1 third, and we know that x is between pi on 2 and pi, what is tan x? Okay, so it tells us what sine x is. It gives us a... Uh, the quadrant that x is in and wants us to know what it would asks us what is tan x so really quickly I might just do a little bit of a sketch to get an idea what we're talking about here pi on 2 and pi so we're in the third quadrant so I've got my unit circle it tells me that sine x is equal to one third now sine x is the y coordinate so that's about a third so we're talking about this angle here Okay, now I know my y coordinate. I need the first thing I should do before I find tan x is actually find cos x. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is actually find uh, cos x. All right, so a couple of things you need to remember for this question cos squared x plus sine squared x is equal to 1, and tan x is equal to sine x divided by cos x. Okay, you should remember these. These are going to be on your formula booklets, but try to remember them. All right, so let's start this question. Uh, first, I'm going to use that first formula to try and find cos x. Okay, so cos squared x plus sine squared x is equal to 1. So cos squared x plus 1 third squared is equal to 1. All right, I just substituted sine x from up this question into here. So cos squared x plus 1 over 9 is equal to 1, which means that cos squared x is equal to 8 over 9. Okay, 1 minus 1 ninth is 8 ninths. I want to take the square root of both sides here, and I get cos x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 8 over 3. I already took the square root of 9. All right, now we need to ask ourselves, are we talking about positive or negative? Well, that goes back to the quadrant. We're in this quadrant here. Now, remember, we've got everything is positive, sine is positive, tan is positive, and cos is positive over here. Okay, so in the second quadrant, only sine is positive, so that means that cos is negative. Okay, so now I have my cos x. All right, so I can go over here and get another color. All right, so now the next part of the question, what is tan x? Well, I know that tan x is sin x over cos x. Okay, I've heard I have sin x from the question. It's one third. Cos x I just discovered was negative root 8 divided by 3. So I just need to evaluate this. So that's one third multiplied by negative three over root eight. These threes will cancel out. That will give me negative one on root eight. Okay, now I could be a little bit more um, accurate here with my answer and I could evaluate this a bit more. Square root of eight is the same as two root two. Okay, so actually negative 1 on root 8 is equal to negative 1 on 2 root 2. Okay, remember that's just like this. 4 times 2. Okay, and the square root of 4 is 2. Alright, so that's our final answer. Tan x is equal to negative 1 divided by 2 root 2.